decision is unanimous. Margate is going to court to stop a controversial doom project. As Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan tells us, the decision comes after the worst fears of some of the residents were realized. We can't fiddle faddle with this thing. Frustrated Margate residents flooded City Hall inside and out Wednesday morning after a dune construction project flooded their beaches. The beaches are ruined. The city should sue and get it all, put it back like it was. And that is the plan. City commissioners passed a resolution to seek a temporary restraining order against the agencies in charge of the dune project. The Army Corps of Engineers and the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. They've got to stop figure out what went wrong, what's wrong with the engineering. When they correct it, move on. The Army Corps say basins meant to collect and gradually percolate stormwater didn't work as planned. Many people named the multi-block beach pool Lake Christie for the governor who insisted on the project and called people who opposed it vain and selfish. Well, I think he's responsible for it, so I think we ought to name it after him. As of Wednesday afternoon, four pumps had the lake almost drained and dozers were beginning to fill a foot or more of sand throughout the basins to try preventing a future swamp. Also Wednesday, pumping sand onto the beach resumed after a several day hiatus. To many, the damage is already done, saying the summer is lost. Business leaders say sales and rentals are down. This is a, a society down here at the shore where we really have to make our money for the year in a very, very short period of time. And the Dune Project is having a profound impact on everybody's bottom line, and it's all negative. Margate City officials say they plan to have their attorney file the injunction lawsuit on Thursday. Now, the last time Margate went to court against the state of New Jersey about Dunes, they lost, costing more than $300,000 in legal fees. But the mayor tells me that the plan right now is to cap the spending on this effort at $25,000. In Margate, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.